I'm not tired yet. Perhaps off your comp line. Room is sparse compared to what I'm used to. Oh. Bragging about your wealth, ain't you? Man. Hana. Hello, Andreas. How are you enjoying your stay? A little weird to have myself on camera doing all these voices now. Alright. Well enough. Hmm. Perhaps my husband can provide something else to make your stay more enjoyable. I don't know why I read that so centrally. Thank you, Hannah. That's very kind. You're most welcome, Master Mahler. Was there anything else? No, thank you. Until later. Until then. <clears throat> oh. This is what Kearsal looks like now? This town's really on the up and up, huh? Oh, that's a door! My god, it was so narrow, I thought it was just something on the wall. Good day, Master Mahler. Nico! Oh, I can't. <laughs> Terrible New York accent. <clears throat> ah, Master Mahler, is it? Hello, and well, welcome to the Golden Hand. Hmm, it's not quite... I gotta do, like, the Vinnie Mario voice. Ah, oh, whatever. I. Hey, Slammy, what's up? Oh, okay. Just no, dude, Nico from GTA 4. Hey, Master Mahler, it's me, cousin Nico. Or no, it's the fucking cousin. I, don't, I can't remember the cousin's name from GTA 4, but whatever. I am Nico Berger. Berger. <laughs> Shit. I own this land house and run it with my wife Hannah and our son Kilian. I believe my boy helped you to your room. Is it to your liking? It suffices. I see. We will try to exceed your expectations during your stay. Is there anything we can do to make your stay more enjoyable? Do you have any pillows? Oh man. Man, Andreas is really on the up and up if he's complaining about all these things. He used to not care about just having straw to sleep on. I don't think there's sufficient light in the room. We can place additional candles and lamps in the room for you for a modest price. Complain to Nico about your room. That will be fine. Very good, Master Mahler. When you arrive in town, one of the locals said you lived here a few years back. And I heard you were involved in solving a murder. Ah, uh, well, yeah, about that. I'm alert on you because I'm about to slap kids in uh, SOT. Uh! It is Nicolo. SOT, SOT, SOT. Um. Why do I not know what that stands for? What the fuck is SOT? I'm sure I know the game, but I just don't recognize the acronym. Yes, out of necessity. The wrong man was being accused of a crime. The man was my friend. I heard it was the prior at the Abbey. That the Baron was a sacrifice in some diabolical spell the brother was casting. I don't want to talk about it. I see. My apologies, Master Mahler. I will let you get on with your day. Until later. Until then. I thought it was nighttime. Because it's like raining outside. I guess I was wrong. Who the fuck is that? Samuel. That's, he sounds cool. Hello, Andreas. I'll make Samuel French. He seems like a musketeer. Hey, bear, break war? I mean, yes, I am on a break war, but it's also Sunday. I always stream other games on Sunday, if that's what you're asking. 
My Sunday streams are for me to complete my fucking backlog. It's been like that for the last... Seven years at this point. Brother Volslav used thyme in almost all the Abbey's cooking. Maybe it's because it grows so easily here. I should grow some thyme. Actually, no, I got savory. That's like close enough. Sunday is fun day. Exactly, Durzo. Hello. How's it going? Hey, it's Otto. Just do it. You know it's the right thing to do. Uh, you know it's the right thing. I don't understand why it's so hard for you. Wait, is that... Wait. Is that Martin? Otto, I'm scared. It's dangerous to cross the abbot. Would you prefer the alternative? You don't need to do that, Otto. I understand, I'm just saying. Uh, uh, Andreas? Andreas Mahler. It's good to see you again, old friend. Otto, you're looking well? This is my apprentice, Casper uh, Ziegler from Salzburg. Good day. Ah, that answers that. I thought he might be your son. No, not yet. Wait, what? We don't grow them that fast, Stephen and Nuremberg. They grow fast enough around here. Ave and I just had our first little Otto. Although we call him Otz. Congratulations to you both, that's wonderful. Thank you. It's been a trial with Dad gone. But Clara and Ursula help out where they can. He lived a surprisingly long time considering his profession and previous stroke. Not long enough for me. Not long enough for us. Dr. Stolz said it was another stroke while he was sleeping, thankfully. I know Ava wrote to you about my father's death, Andreas. Why didn't you write back? I'm sorry, I, I, things just got so busy after I left Tassing. Ah, I, I, oh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I should be heading back. I don't think that's actually Martin. I don't, I shouldn't be giving him a fucking New York accent. I feel I should remember your face, but I can't face it. This is Martin, of course. Oh, it is Martin. Martin Bauer, can't you tell? Ah, it's fine, Otto. It's been seven years, and I was so much smaller back then. Also, no beard. Ha! <laughs> You've grown. It's been known to happen with children. Ha! Huh. Okay, maybe it's a good thing I didn't just have him murdered. My god. This conversation would be a lot different, because one of these characters would have been dead. As much as I love whiling away the hours in the meadows, I have a lot to attend to. Otto, I'll see you in the meeting later. Andreas, until later. Good to see you. Last time I saw Martin was in this meadow. He was sneezing. He seemed to hate being here. But now he loves it. Strange. It, is it strange, or are you just confused? Am I confused? This is getting very philosophical. Alright, calm down there, fucking, uh, Plato or whoever. Are you? <laughs> Good to see you, Martin. Okay, he went, he went full-on philosopher for a second there. <laughs> Pain in my ass. Can't believe how much Martin's changed. True! He's like the prodigal son. Took over his father's farm after Franz died. He's been much better husband to Brigida and provider for Kat. Franz died? How's the little wolf doing? Franz's heart gave out. Oka legend says he was screaming at Kat when, and he dropped dead. Not that I want anyone to suffer, but few were sad to see that man go. And little wolf. He died a few months after you left. I think Martin still feels guilty about it. Something happening in town? You've picked an interesting time to visit, friend. 
come by the town commons in a while. I think you'll be interested to hear what I have to say. I'll consider it, thanks. I hope to see you there. Until later. Okay, so I have to go to the town commons. Why don't I just go there now? Pain respects old faces. Also, which inn is this? Golden Hand Inn. Okay. Wow. Oh, these fuckers are still alive. Andreas! I had heard you were back in town. In Tassing. God bless you. Good morning, Father Thomas. You're not going to try to get me to come to Mass, are you? I would hope that in the many years since you since you were here with us in Tassing, attending Mass has come up, become a habit. That, and I'm sure Master Maller isn't staying through Sunday. Hopefully this visit will be less eventful than your last. Tassing has had has enough going on as it is. We have our bonfire for St. John's Eve tomorrow night. People get up to all sorts of mischief. And then it's my job to hear their confessions in the day that follows. Not to mention the grumbling the peasants are making. It doesn't seem very Christian of you, guy. That's just talk, brother. No need to scare our guests with such things. Ooh, this is during the reforms. I wonder if we're going to get to do some defenestration. That would be a lot of fun. I'm sure if there's trouble, Master Maller will be the first to stick his nose in it. Why are you always such an asshole? You have no appreciation for how privileged your life is. It's easy enough for you to come and go. You don't have to live with the consequences. I mean, I still have a conscience, asshole. After F was executed, Father Abbott made Matthew the new prior. Wait, really? They made Matthew the prior? Oh, that's funny. Cool, I got some dirt on the prior. Excellent. F may have been annoying, but Matthew's even worse. Thanks for that. Oh, wait, really? Ooh, I might be able to save you guys then. Uh... Feels kind of scummy, though, to rat him out for that. Eh. If he's an asshole, it's not worth it. It would have been better for everyone. You had simply allowed Brother Piero to die. After all, you only had a few years left anyways. You're a buffoon and a coward who hides behind his habit or stare menacingly at him. I'm just gonna stare menacing here. Nothing to say for yourself. Not a loud mouth like you guy. Friends, friends, there's no no, no need for such ire. Uh, for, forgive me, Father. Father Thomas, I, I let my passion get the better of me. Besides, that's not even why I came down here. Actually. I came to speak to you on the abbot's behalf, Andreas. Father Gernot would like to invite you to come to the library tomorrow morning, if you're interested in purchasing some of our books. The abbot just had me run off, and now he's wanting me back? I can't know the mind of Father Abbot. I just do what he asks. The library is not quite ready yet, as it does not see much use. If you could come by tomorrow morning, Mother Illuminata can show you what's available. Mother Illuminata? Yes, since Mother Cecilia passed a few years ago. How did she die? Peacefully, in her sleep. So, tomorrow morning? Alright, tell him to expect me. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed. And Andreas, I apologize for my harsh words before. It was rash. For Piero was a pious man and a skilled artist. We miss him. I appreciate you saying that, too. I miss him as well. Excellent! I'm so glad you two were able to work things out. 
Oh, and Father Thomas, you have a moment to speak inside the church? Yes, uh, I think so. Why? A private matter. Ah, oh, of course, of course. Until tomorrow. God bless you, Andreas. Shank him in there. Old friends, Skyrim belongs to the Nords. There you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Andreas. I'm sorry, Klaus. It's been a long time. Seven years! Seven years and nothing from my friend Andreas. First Bert and Marie just after Magdalene was born. My wife always thought highly of you. I can't believe you didn't write back after I told you they'd passed. I'm sorry. I should have written. Yes. Yes, you should have. Too late for that now, though. Aww. Boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> oh, I get the talk child. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> oh. 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 How can I crack my voice? Oh. Uh, hello. She likes you. Aww. Your business seems to have grown. What are you printing? The Twelve Articles. They were originally written by Swabian peasants who were demanding changes to, from their lord. Cool. Freedom from serfdom. Freedom to hunt and to use the woods as God intended. Freedom from compulsory labor. Abolition of the inheritance tax. Fair appraisal of rent. The return of property to common use and ownership. Avaria isn't Swavia, but their complaints are just as valid for the peasants of Tassing. Ah, so this is Otto's cause. He's caught your ear already, hmm. The abbot has been squeezing the peasants for years. Now he's squeezing the townsfolk. And we're pushing back. Yeah, down, down with the man. Their cause is righteous, Andreas. If you haven't seen the gardeners lately, you should visit them. And Otto had you print these? Yes, why? Well, I didn't think he could read. He can't, but just about everyone else in town can. He speaks, I print. Just trying to do my part, I suppose. I, I'm sorry, I'm still not in the mood for this late reunion. Come back for dinner tomorrow. You should go to the commons, hear what Otto has to say. It's worth hearing. Of course, I'll see you then. Be good while we're gone, Magdalene. Will you be good? Gab, 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 woo, woo. Oh, he's so adorable. Main respects. Cold reunion. That's a lot of people. So many people. Everyone, listen. We all know why we're here. Nothing I'm going to say will be of surprise. Nothing I'm going to say hasn't already been said or spoken behind closed doors, whispered to your neighbors. Oh, he's gonna lead a fucking revolt. I'm down. I gotta support Otto all the way. Nothing I'm going to say is untruthful, so it's time we start saying it openly. Year after year, 
the Abbey has found new ways to tax the peasants. Peace by peace, the Abbey has taken away our rights to use God's forest to support our families. Law after law gets heaped upon us, restrictions on how we can pay rent, limits on where we can move, limits on where we can move. Uh, who, uh, who, who we, we can bed. <laughs> I'm trying to go German with these W's. God, God damn it, there's so many W's in a row. And now the death tax. Wh oh my God, yeah. Which once claimed our only, only our best animals and garments takes half our estate. No consideration for widows. No consideration for children. What about, what about the town, what about the town council, the rat house? Surely that is a sign that the abbot wishes to share his power to listen to our grievances. You have a good heart, Ulrich. You always want to see the best in people. But no, the council is a way for the abbot to divide us, to pit a favored few against the many. This is not charity. Not only greed and desperation. No, only greed and desperation drives Father Jarnot. You'd think if the abbot could steal a dead man's soul from heaven itself. You'd think if the abbot could, sorry, he'd steal a dead man's soul from heaven itself. And then we, then we protest. What did Father Jarnot do? He locked the shrine of Saint Moritz. He won't allow the people of this town, the farmers of this land, to pray before the relic. Now then, we most need the intercession of our saint. The abbot has shut us out. Father Jarnot's actions are just. They aren't Christian. We've endured this abuse for too long. It's time we let the abbot know we won't take it anymore. To right. Hear, hear. Yes. This has to stop. Let's fix this. Stop. This is foolish. Soldiers are already patrolling nearby towns. If you push against the abbey, you'll incur the duke's wrath. You should get the town right. You could get the town raised and everyone killed. I mean, if they raise the entire town, then they can't take the taxes. That would kind of be counterintuitive. Hannah's right! The Duke is a powerful force in Bavaria. You're playing a dangerous game, Otto. You lot are no match for trained soldiers. If you don't relent, you'll be ground into dust like the Swavian peasants. We could all grind you up instead, Lindhart. I don't know about this. We must stand for what's right. God is on our side. Don't be shy. Speak up for yourselves if you have a cause. Eh, yeah, we won't be overrun. The peasants of Salzburg were able to take the city and have their cause heard. Oh gosh. If the people can get the Archbishop of Salzburg to listen to him, then we can do the same with the abbot. Master Andreas, do you think my family in Salzburg is all right? Don't worry, the civilian losses were minimal. They're probably fine. Oh no, maybe we should go back to Salzburg after this. Enough is enough! We can't stand by while the abbot continues treating us poorly. People all over Swabia are taking their God-given rights. Why shouldn't we do the same? A righteous cause. Martin is right. We deserve better. We can do our... We can do this. Well spoken, Martin. Everyone ought to consider what he said. Martin has proven dependable these last few years. But if the word of man can't persuade you, perhaps a sign from a greater power will. The abbot may have locked us out of our saint's shrine, but God has shown me that he is with us. 
I think that's all I should say for now. Thank you all for coming. Holy shit. Yo, fucking revolution. Hey, I murdered one of the Abbey per people before. I could do it again. I mean, I didn't murder him. I had someone else murder him. Oh, she's got a baby in the basket. Good day, Andreas. Clara, it's been so long. It's lovely to see you. Hello, Andreas. I am surprised to see you here after such after your long absence from Tassing. At this rate, we thought we'd never see you again. I was gone too long. I'm sorry for sending or not sending word of my arrival. You'd certainly picked an odd time to visit. We're in the middle of a str we're in the middle of a strange season. Ah, you found the Gertners. Your speech was very rousing. Otto, I swear, they get better each time. I hope the Duke doesn't catch word of this, Otto. The town could suffer for it. We're past the point of caring, Maller. If you were in our posi- out If you were in our position, you'd understand that. You're right. It's not my place to judge. I'm- just concerned. I appreciate it. But we know the risks. Oh, just auto pass. Awesome. Otto, did you really see a sign from God? Is that true? It is. Andreas, I swear. Come talk to me later. I'll tell you what I can, alright? Anyways, Andreas. You and yours should come by the house for, for supper. We'd be delighted to have you. Sounds good to you, Casper? Yes, Master. I'm starving. Our table is a little sparse lately, but we'll be sure to feed you well. Thank you. We'll see you there. Didn't I already promise someone else? Fuck you. I get so many options for dinner. Okay. So Otto's going like full revolutionary on this. I want to support him, but I also don't. I'm going to end up being the inside man who's going to like stealth into the abbey and do some shit, aren't I? I'm always solving everyone else's problems. Call me fucking... Was it Abacus? No. Who the fuck was the guy in um... Killing Mockingbird? Whatever, the lawyer's name. I'm basically just that guy in fucking medieval Bavaria. Andreas, you're back in Tassing? Just for a few days. I wanted to play a bit respects to Brother Pietro. Oh, yes. Brother Pietro. What a talent with color. I'm sorry, Andreas. He was a sweet old man. I talked to him sometimes on my break breaks up at the Abbey. I'm surprised Brother Prior F didn't give you an earful. Well... He did before the, uh, unpleasantness. I'm sure you know it shook up things at the Abbey for a while. He made it clear I wasn't welcome at Kearsau when I arrived, so yes. For what it's worth, you're still welcome in Tassing, anyways. Matthew's prior now, still strict, but a bit quieter about it. He has a reserved Swiss temperament. I'd take that over F's outbursts. Oh shit, he's Swiss? How do I do a Swiss accent? You'll get no disagreement from me. Still, even if the prior is easier to get along with, the abbot's gone from bad to worse. Oh, are you in with the peasants, Endris? Well, of course. Gerno has been ruining them. Are running them into the ground. On top of that, we can't even use the forest anymore. Any of us used to be able to go fishing in there. Not anymore. How far are you going to take this? Well, I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not leading the thing. But I trust an auto to do, and the peasants to do, too. I hope your trust is well placed. 
pray for us, will ya? We could use St. Moritz's help right about now. Say, Andreas, how has the married life been treating you? After you left and returned to Nuremberg, I take it you were married. I was. Sabine, she was waiting for me. I hope the married life has treated you well. I still haven't found anyone yet. Here, here, Andres. I fear it's never gonna happen. Damn, dude. This guy speaks to my soul. Well, whatever. Really? Not a single person has caught your eye? Well, when I was in Inbr Innsbruck a few years ago, I saw a really pretty girl at the market selling painted pots. I think about her sometimes. Uh, maybe more than is Christian. That is, uh, all right. You come on, blacksmith is still respectful. Hold on. You need to go back to Innsbruck and find that pretty girl. But what? Really? Life is too short to spend dreaming about the loves you could have had. Trust me. I... You seem to feel strongly about this, Andreas. But it sounds foolish. Juvenile, you might say. Don't overthink it, just take my advice. I got an achievement for convince Endress to find his sweetheart. Oh, that was easy. Well, if I ever have the chance to get back to Innsbruck, maybe I will. <laughs> There's something to look forward to, after all. Thank I thank you, Andreas. You're a man of inspiration. A pleasure. Until later, Andreas. Until then. Actually, you know what? I want to go see Otto, because I want to see what the fuck is going on. But Ursula's all grown up. Well, not quite, but grown up more. Uh... Yeah, I forget. Drukers. Never mind. I'm going to eat there, then. Shit. I do like that demi cape he's sporting though. That's pretty sweet. Seems like it would be too warm though. Ah, she's grown up. Hello. Hello, Ursula. Do you remember me? Um, no. Should I? You used to poke me in the foot. You used to poke me in the foot with a stick to wake me up. I did? You did. I stayed in the room upstairs. I kind of remember that. <coughs> I think you told me a story once. I did. Mom and Dad said sometimes... Mom and Dad sometimes talk about you. They said you went away for more twaining. What was that like? Well, I was in Paris. I learned a new oil technique. No, no, about the art, Andreas, about your travels. All right, all right. Uh, Paris is the liveliest city I've ever been to. The Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral is always being renovated. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And the university has some of the brightest minds I've ever met. Father says, university is a waste of time. That people should learn a trade. Oh boy. Uh, I learned a lot in university, but I never did finish my degree. You learned how to paint instead. I think that's more interesting. <coughs> She's sick. Oh. Andreas, can I ask you something? Of course. 
Do you know the stories about Perkchas and the Wild Hunt? Of course, I lived in Switzerland for a while and they believe in Perkchas too. They call her Dame Hulde, Dame Hulde, where I stayed in Basel. Why? Are, are they bad? <coughs> uh, I think she's sick. Bad how? People say that my grandpa used to talk about Perkchas and spirits and charms. And the old woman, Ottilia, she talks about them too. She's still alive and says all these words I don't understand. She told me they're part of the old ways or something. So why did you think they were bad? Well, my dad says I shouldn't listen to any of it. He says it's nonsense and that Father Thomas would be mad. He says that only he only tolerates it with old people because they're too stuck in their ways. I don't want to get in trouble, but Otilia said if I don't learn the old ways, they'll just be forgotten. Why are you asking me? I'm I'm afraid if I ask someone else, they'll tell my dad or worth Father Thomas. So are they bad? <coughs> I, I, please stop making me fake cough. It's actually starting to hurt my chest a little bit. No, they're not bad. You shouldn't learn what you can while you can. I think I'm going to get into her in trouble, isn't it? I hope. Oh, shit. Man, I fucking suck at this. Just coughs in my face. I'm sorry. I for forget I said anything. Oh, boo! <laughs> Fuck that. Go eat dinner. Gotta join us for supper? Yes. It would be my pleasure. Blessing to have everyone back together again, if only briefly. Keep an eye on that boy of yours, Andreas. See that he minds how much he takes. Young boys eat too goddamn much. Peter, stop that. Andreas is our guest. Why don't you lead us in grace? I keep switching her accent. Fine. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. We pray again for our beloved Christine, gone now these many years, and also for my father, taken from us by the merciless greed of that bastard ab- Peter. Forgive me, Lord. And please help me forgive those who have wronged us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. Oh, man. I don't know what the fuck that was. Everyone said amen. You get the point. Master Andreas, why are they we the only ones with bread? The Gertners can't afford a lot. They're being polite. Andreas, it's so good to have you at our table again. Wow, this is like super depressing, but an amazing piece of storytelling that I wasn't expecting. Like, between the first chapters and this chapter, the fucking food quality and amount has decreased severely just to show how much they're suffering under this habit. Man, I should just fucking throw Matthew out of the church tower. He's short enough. I could take him. And with another guest! This young man, your uh, assistant? Casper. Yes, he's my apprentice. Ah! That would explain why I saw him writing in that little journal. I remember you did have the same thing when you lived here. Oh my god, they even spared some cheese? Fuck, man. Do you still draw in your journal, Andreas? I've been trying to spend more time on the land. It's hard to be in touch with God's splendor in a city like Nuremberg. Mom said you know a lot about the proper names for birds and trees and things. <coughs> huh. How nice that you have the time. 
everyone in this household is sick because they're not eating enough. And we toil day in that despicable habit of starving us all while he sips on sacramental fucking wine. Play off, Dad. He's only just got here. I'm not gonna lie to them, come on. How have the fates been treating you these last few years? <coughs> Ugh. The Lord is testing us with another hard season, I'm afraid. You must have noticed that Peter, father, Peter's father is no longer with us. The winter after you left was a difficult one. With all of the taxes we owe, it was hard to make ends meet. Oh fuck, that's right, I never got them. Oh God. I never secured the early payment for them. Oh, God. I might have led to his death. That fucking sucks. We didn't. Didn't make ends meet. Dad. A little kindness from the abbot could have spared us, but no. I mean, to be fair, I did try to help them, but God damn it. I'm sorry. Sorry? Why? You didn't control the abbot's cruel heart. Anyways, the debt was my responsibility to pay, and I failed. And this year, the whole family's been ill. Andreas, Peter, Ursula, with an ar with an ague, and me, well... Oh, shit. Clara lost a child in childbed a year ago now. Tragedy. Sorry for your loss. Thank you, Andreas. It was some time ago, but, well, such things linger. It was. You're already. You're already thinking about it. Please leave me alone, just for a while. Alright, just for a while. Seems the Lord rarely looks in on tassing any longer. That's why it's time for us to take matters into our own hands. We are eating. Not at the table. Do you think? Please. Can we not talk? Uh, what fucking accent did I give her? Please, can we not talk about this anymore? Jorg here was married while you were away, Andreas. Was? Oh. Really? To whom? To me, Andreas? Why else do you think I'm here? Of course, you two make a good match. Jorg has been good to me. There aren't many other options in tasking anyway. It's been a couple of springs. But I'm still not used to being married. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Andreas. Don't be weird. Congratulations, Jorg. I'm happy for you. Thanks, Andreas. It's been our one blessing in a dark season. With children soon to come, I hope. Okay, well, at least it was his mom, not me. Haha. <laughs> what? I don't get it. <laughs> Do you? Uh... Oh, forget it, Ursula. What have you been up to, Andreas? Uh... What should I say? My life seems so far from theirs now. I can't think of anything. Nothing but leave me alone. You don't say something. Oh shit. Uh, this seems like the most relatable one I could say. Well, I've been so busy with Casper's apprenticeship, I never have any time to myself. Better not have any children then. 
I do my best to help, to be helpful. <coughs> Please stop coughing, I get it, they're all sick. Ursula, maybe you should excuse yourself and rest, you're sick. But mom, I'm still hungry. Here, Ursula, you can have some of mine. Good on you, Casper. It's not fair that no one el <clears throat> sorry. It's not fair that no one nobody else gets any bread besides Master Andreas and me. Stop! Ursula, give it back to him. No. I'm not gonna have people in this town saying we can't feed our goddamn guests. Besides, we all have to work to get back to, don't we? Good. Man, that's fucking, that's fucking miserable. Time to get back to it, Andreas. We'll see you and your boy later. My apologies, Peter. We didn't mean to overstay. He's all right, Andreas. He's just in a bad mood. It was lovely to see you again. Yes, thank you for coming. Andreas, will you be staying for St. John's Eve? I'm not sure yet. All right, well, maybe we'll see you later. Until then. The sin of soul! Master, did you hear that? It sounded like someone crying out. I think it's Sister Amelie. She's a mystic. She may be having one of her visions. Sister Amelie, are you alright? The Philistines! This is the hand of God! What about the Philistines? Compline! Compline! Sister, is something happening at Compline? It's Compline right now. No! <laughs> Wait. Sis Sister Emily? Oh, she's back to normal now. You're the artist, Andreas! You remember me? I barely even saw you. Yes, y you were here when the Baron was killed. You've changed. Uh, no one really changes. We cannot change our fundamental nature as sinners, but through the grace of God, we may change our lives. I hope that's true, sister. It is true, and it is the truth, the most important truth that God has given us. I wish Father Thomas were here. Would you like Casper to go get him? If he could, yes. His house is just around the corner. Casper, run and get Father Thomas. Yes, Master Andreas. Your son? Uh, my apprentice, Caspar Ziegler, from Salzburg. He seems eager to please you. Why did you put it like that? What the fuck is wrong with you? I feel his devotion is misplaced in me. He sees you as a father, and he wants to honor you as any Christian child should. But as Paul told the Ephesians, father must not provoke anger in their children through ill treatment. I have a little advice for mothers and fathers that does not come from the scripture. Oh, I can find it. Jeez. Wow. Holy shit, that is miserable. My world is one of this, one of spirit decoupled from the march of life and death. I see and hear your world turning from this little window. But they are mercifully that they are mercifully small glimpses. Mercifully small? Chose a difficult life. 
The life is not difficult, but the choice was. My life belongs to God, and that and its trials are mine to endure in this cell. Bro, you, your world is the world of normal lives and normal thoughts. It can be difficult to hear the divine, much less make sense of it. I have no will to be part of that world. Uh, I strive to have no will at all, but to subordinate myself to the will of God. When my will is his will, he graces me with his visions, infusing though they may be. If certainly if God is giving you visions, he wants you to understand them. Understanding is a trial, Andreas. Perhaps what God wants from me is to strive and stri and in striving to understand a different, deeper mystery. It is not my place to question his will, but to contemplate the revelations I receive with the help of Father Thomas. Sister, what is that hole in the ground? My grave. That seems macabre. I dug it before Th Father Thomas re uh, read my funeral rites. Before I was enclosed here, I dig a little more each day. Most people find it shocking, but my devotion, my vocation, once someone finds their calling, they must answer it fully. I don't think it's that qu that simple. I find God's calling is simple and singular. The rest of the world that is complicated. It is the rest of the world that is complicated, my friend. Uh, pardon me. Is your calling in question, Andreas? Is your life? Both, I think. I've lost my love. My love for art, my love for family, my love for anything. The last seven years have been hard. It's all too much for me. Don't lose hope, Andreas. The human heart is no small thing. It can hold so much. Andreas! Oh, I'm sorry. Andreas! Thank you for sending Casper. She asked for you. Are you all right, Sister Amelie? Yes, Father. I've had another vision. I remember little of it. Master Maller and his apprentice heard nothing specific. That is unfortunate, but I'm glad you are all right. Andreas and Casper, could you excuse us? We appreciate your help, but I must tend to her now in the church. Uh, of course, Father. Good evening. God bless you both. Master Andreas, I'm confused. Oh, what did that all mean? I'm not sure, but last time, <clears throat> but the last time I heard Sister Amelie have a vision, it was just before the Baron was murdered. What? Do you think Sister Amelie could be receiving warnings? Where's the cam go? Oh, where's that sexy, smexy face? Uh, easy to think that after the fact. Perhaps there's a medical explanation for her conditions, a fever, or St. Anthony's fire. She may truly see and hear these things, but not understand their source. How sad to think that she may not be seeing visions from God at all. If that, yes, if that's the case, it's tragic. Come, Casper, let's retire for the evening. Pain respects the second bit. Bro, someone at the Abbey is gonna get fucking murdered. <laughs> and we might be the cause of it.
getting late. I should get some rest. Do I want to talk to you? Fine. Andreas. Brother Guy. What are you doing out here? Father Jarno had asked me to inform the townsfolk that the shrine is closed. You can't close the shrine of St. Moritz. Father Abbot has ordered it, Andreas. I must follow his command. The relic is safe inside the church, and we won't stop the pilgrims from visiting. But it is off limits to the townsfolk. What the fuck? That, just, that makes even less sense. What? Why? The abbot has had enough of the peasants and town folk rebelling against the abbey. He is their rightful lord. The abbot has been more than generous. But he will not let this 12 article drivel pass. The abbot refuses to leave the relic at risk of destruction. The hand of St. Moritz is the only thing keeping the abbey open. But Tassing relies on St. Moritz just as much as the Abbey. What are the faith of the, faith of the townspeople? And then they can stop engaging in such heretical and sinful behavior. The Abbot is trying to protect the relic, nothing more. No one wants to destroy the, the hand of St. Moritz, Guy. The Abbot is a cruel man, and you're no better for defending him. I do my duty as my vow and my lord commands me, Andreas. God bless you. You're next on the chopping block. Fucking bootlicker! Oh, you're still here. Still making out with the. I mean, the. What? Uh. <clears throat> oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see you again. Uh, I don't remember what accent I gave him. How have things been for you in Nuremberg? I've actually been in Paris recently. Nuremberg is wonderful, though. I am glad to hear it. Forgive me for asking, but how did you find the music in Paris? Beautiful. Motets and chansons were quite popular. I think you'd like it. I believe I would. Thank you. Perhaps if God blesses us, we may some of us, uh, we may see some of those compositions before long. I love our music, of course, but I am interested in what is being created across the Christendom. I suppose you came to pay your respects to Brother Piero. I'm, also, I'm so sorry, Andreas. He was a wonderful man, and a faithful servant of Christ. He was my friend and teacher. Well, despite the occasion, it is good to see you again. God bless you, Andreas. Hey, fucker. That's what I thought. Cryptarum fell into disrepair quickly after Father Jarno closed the library. Asshole. Bina? Wait, you're out here. Greetings, Master Mahler. Hello, sisters. Dina. You're looking like the real artist now. I'm impressed. You must be living like a lord. Yes, but overburdened with problems. I have no time for my own art. And that of my patrons. How dreadful. At least you can choose your patrons and do what vocation you please. Why don't you like living at Kirsau, sister? I'm not like you, Andreas. I never chose this life. My family couldn't marry me off anymore uh, to anyone of high rank, so I, they donated to the Abbey. The amount was substantial enough for, um, for the abbey to take me in as a nun. I was forced to take the habit. I loved my life before Kirsau. At least you choose your vocation. I was shoved into mine and forgotten. Here you are, muttering as though you aren't the most successful person in Tassing right now. I had no idea, I'm sorry. I definitely did have an idea, but whatever, I'm going to apologize anyway. You're lucky to have the life you do, Andreas Mahler. You men can become whatever you like. While I, as a woman, 
a woman of noble birth and forever stuck sitting with cronies an old man I have accepted a lot these past years but I can't be perfect as Illuminata still it's better than I want I should return to my duties thank you for speaking with me, Master Mallard until later sisters Dina oh I'm just allowed in here now okay cool that's what you look like. God bless you, Master uh, Andreas. It's been too long. I know Father Abbot has made it clear you were not to return when you left, but we had hoped to hear of your return. Yes, my apologies. You're right, of course. Good to see you ag again, Mother Illuminata. This is my apprentice, Casper Ziegler. Uh, uh... God bless you, Mother Superior. God bless you, young Casper. Master Mahler. Dude, I just spoke with her. Okay, that was poorly written. I'm sorry you have to see it in such a state. It sees very little use these days. What happened? After Baron Rothvogel's murder, we had fewer and fewer wealthy patrons. A small number that held out lost interest. It's easier to commission new works in the Guild of St. Luke or individual masters in big cities like Nuremberg. Like me. Oh, so I'm basically stealing from... Sweet. Awesome. Father Jarnot saw no reason to help the scriptorum or library open. Most of the books here have been suffering of neglect. After Mother Cecilia's death, neither I nor Sisters Dina have the time to maintain our inventory. Piero did say it was going to happen sooner or later. I am no happier about it than you are. But the late brother was right. Only heaven is unchanging. Now all that remains are books for sale our books for sale to interest parties a task that father Jarnot has entrusted me to and sister Zadina of course well I'm eager to look through your inventory master Andreas maybe you could find a book that for little uh, Magdalene or something that's not in print yet excellent idea Casper Uh, Parzval. Perhaps Klaus would not object to this romance, given its emphasis on Christian Her German is a little dated, but I'm sure she'll figure it out with Klaus's help. Who knows? Maybe it'll inspire her imagination. Huh. I think these are land translations of some origins homilies. Also, it looks like it's partially burned. Probably not a great gift for a young... G Wait. This is the same book hand as the notes I found when the Baron was murdered. Whoever wrote this is responsible for the writing of the notes. I need to ask Illuminata about this. Oh, shit. A copy of Jacobus de Vol uh, Voragins. Voragins? Golden legend. Every good Christian should know the legend of the saints. And the Latin is simple enough that she should be able to read it before long. Oh, Richard de Burry's uh, Philo... Philo Biblon. It's a text on the collections and preservation of books. Maybe this is where Illuminata and Cecilia learned all their tricks. It's certainly a good read for a printer's daughter. Albertus Magnus de Animalibus on animals? It's ostensibly a bestiary, but it contains so much more knowledge on a variety of topics. Close. This could inspire an interest in animals and the natural world. Beautiful illustrations as well. Okay, well, I wanted her to be eco-minded like I am, so I'm going to give her that one. We 
Please go down the stairs. Yo. Yo, mom. Have you decided on any books to purchase? Yes, just one. Certainly. Given your love of nature, you already know all of the information contained inside. Perhaps. But this will be for Klaus Drucker's daughter, Magdalene. Latin may pose a challenge for her, but I'm sure with persistence, she can overcome it. Is there anything else you need? Yes, Mother Illuminata. What do you know about this book? I... I don't know anything. This is the first time I've seen it. Where did you find it? I've seen it. On one of the lower shelves. I don't think it's in our catalog. It's burned around the edges. Why? How can I find out where it came from? Who wrote it? If it's not in our catalog, I'm afraid I don't... Oh, if it's not in our catalog, I'm afraid I don't know. Whom you could ask? If it was a recent edition, only people who know would be Mother Cecilia and Father Matthias. That's a shame, because whoever scribed this book wrote the letters I found. Uh, wrote the letters I found while investigating the Baron's murder. The one in the f the ones in the fine book hand, Brother Adoc told me about them. Perhaps he knows something about this book. He's been here longer than any of us. Why would the person who wrote the letters have scribed the book in our library? Well, that's the question. Whoever did it is a thread puller. Huh? Someone who is ma manipulating people at Kirsau and Tassing, pulling the threads to provoke someone into killing the Baron. I thought one of the brothers killed the Baron. He did, but the Baron lured... The chap was lured to the chapter house by someone who knew uh, Kirsau and Tassing's secrets. Well, I'm afraid we can't be of any more help to you in determining the book's uh, provenance. However, it is not in our catalog and already damaged. I doubt Father Abbott would mind if you kept it. Excellent. Uh, thank you. I'm glad someone bothered to save it from the flames. Every time something goes wrong in this town, I get, like, a book. Also, for someone seemingly about to lead a revolution, they seem reasonably well off. Bah! Aw, you bend the cat. You're back! Good. We almost, we're almost ready to sit down and eat. But you and Casper care to join us. Of course, thank you, Klaus. Oh, where's Otto? Welcome back, Andreas, Casper. Andreas, these are my friends, Benjamin and Rachel Sommerfield. They're on their way back to Prague. Good day. Hello, excuse me for not getting up. It's a bit difficult. Of course, I understand. It's nice to meet both of you. Hello. <laughs> Magdalene go brr. Hello. That sounded like a real word, Klaus. She's learning more of them every day. She'll be reading before long. That's wonderful segue to the gift I have brought her. Oh? Consider it a small apology. Well, well, all right. Let's see this small apology. Here you are. Abertus Magus de Amabilius. Andreas, she's only two years old. I'm sure she'll learn quickly in a printer's house. Thanks for this. It's a nice thought. I'm sure he would have liked something else, but fuck it. She's going to become biologically uh, sound. Knowledgeable. But you should probably pray before we eat, assuming the Sommersfields don't mind. Not at all. We're accustomed to being guests in a Christian home. Thank you for asking, Klaus. All right. I'll lead the prayer, then. Are they not Christian? I guess they're not. Wait. Or unless... Wait, Prague. 
the defenestration of Prague. So that means the Protestant then. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Uh, um, <laughs> amen. Yeah, I guess that means the Protestant. Okay, well, these guys are a little bit more well off. Fucking mushrooms, cheese, and bread. Oh, that's what I need to get myself, some mushrooms. I haven't eaten mushrooms in a while. I wish I was better at foraging mushrooms. Yeah. I wish I had a way to fucking grow them, too. Like an old tree stump. Klaus, thank you again for letting us stay here. It's been such a long trip. Oh, is it time? Oh, no, I, I'm fine, I think. I'm just sore everywhere. Oof. Anyways, we'd hoped to get home weeks ago. But the fighting has made it low progress from Basel. Has the fighting come close? Close enough. If we can hear the drums or see the armies, it's too close for me. Rachel, being pregnant, complicates things, of course. You must be due to give birth quite soon. Too soon. We really shouldn't have been. Uh, we really should have been home by now. I'm gonna fucking give birth during the fucking revolt in town. I know it. It's lucky timing for me, though. Now I have two printers and a master artist at my dinner table. True. <laughs> it isn't all misfortune. Daddy. Oh yes, thank you. And the future printer. Baby printer to be. Passing hasn't seen this many artists under one roof in a while. It's amazing to see how far... It's amazing to see how far printing has come so quickly. Some of these engravings I've seen are incredible. And new techniques, new types, new styles are being developed every year. Benjamin is trying to create a more readable script for Yiddish. Okay, they're Jewish. Oh, right. I couldn't even see. They have the, uh, they have the, um... Yamaka? That's what the, that's what the Jewish hat is called, right? It's a Yamaka? Yeah, it's a Yamaka. I was thinking Yamaha, I'm like, no, that's the motorcycle company. We have typefaces for Hebrew. But it would be nice to have something separate for Yiddish. How novel. Yes, it's developing a developing. It's still a developing typeface and usually only used in Jewish women's books. Like our writings used to be accessible, especially to those who only read Yiddish. I'd, I'd like our writings to be more accessible. Here. Something like this. I'll be sure to send you some samples when I'm finished, Klaus. Good, I like the... Oof. I'm... Yes, I'm fine. Klaus, are you... what are you working on? I, I don't trust that she's fine. She's fucking gonna give birth at this meal. I need to get ready to... Or, I need to get ready... To sell it to travelers, as the pass is open. But lately, I've been printing 12 articles for town. 12 articles! Thanks to Father Thomas, everyone in town can at least can read at least well enough to make it through that sheet. It's got a lot of people talking. A lot are coming over to Otto's way, way of thinking. Well, you heard him yourself, Andres. What do you think of what's happening to Tassing? The abbot's always been an ass. What do you expect? You're not wrong. Remember what happened to Attilia's house? The abbot took it away. She lost everything. She works for Father Thomas now. Oh. I was surprised as you are now. We are... We were... We all were... But what, oh God, but what the only child, but what was the only charity available to her? Sorry, not trying to bring up bad memories. 
I was just trying to say that things have been hard on the peasants for years. Gotten worse lately. If the Abbey is in such a bad state, there must be someone at the Abbey. The Abbot can appeal to for more money. Who? The Pope? The Duke of Bavaria might lend him military aid, but money is unlikely. Well, then it's the abbot's problem to fix. Peasants don't need to bear the brunt of it. Apple pie? Mushroom pottage? White bread. Oh, man. Auto better. Auto and... This house, the truckers must better fucking watch their backs, because, like... Ugh. They might have a little too much for the other peasants to take kindly to them. Yeah, although Otto's leading it, but still. We're... We're sympathetic to what's happening here. We saw it all throughout Swabia. Peasants are suffering. It's true. But I worry about what will happen to Tassing. Pe Ow! I'm fine. Peasants are no match for the soldiers of the Swabian League. What is the Swabian League? Mercenaries, soldiers for hire, rally for coin, not for cause. We can't speak to their motives as we tried to stay away from them. We were intimidating, they, they were intimidating, even at the distance. If the peasants weren't careful, passing could draw the wrong sort of attention. I know that Otto and the peasants are taking a risk. I believe Otto will keep things peaceful. Anyways, it's not the Swabian League we have to worry about, but the soldier of the Duke of Bavaria. Bavaria! <laughs> the Prince Bishop has the church's authority. The Duke's lands surround Tassing and Kirsa. I really do need mushrooms. I just realized mushrooms would make my cream soups better. I should have bought mushrooms yesterday in the farmer's market. Klaus, I'm sorry for showing up yesterday without warning. You had every right to be angry. I apologize for never writing back. Klaus, I wanted to apologize for never writing back. I was so caught up in work. You know how hard it is. No. I'm sorry I never... I'm uh, Klaus, I'm sorry for never writing back. What happened here in Tassing and Kiersau? I just wanted to forget it. I was too much of a coward to write back after hearing Bert and Marie passed. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah, okay, I guess that's not what he wanted to hear. Ah, poof! Ow! Oh, this is it! This is it! Oh, shit. Oh, no! I, I was afraid of this! We can't travel now! This is all my fault. We should have left Basil earlier. I love you, Benjamin, but be quiet. I don't care. I need help. Yes, I need a midwife. Is there one who would accept Rachel? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Agnes Steinhauer, she's Tassig's midwife. Could you get her? Klaus? Yes, I, I could get her. Agnes has delivered every child to Tassig as long as I can remember. She would never turn away any woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Klaus, you're such a menace. Enough with the thanks. Get me a midwife. Yes. Andreas, you're forgiven. Casper, it was good to have you over, but both of you have to leave. Thank you, Klaus. Good luck, Rachel. Eh, thank you, I'll need it. I'll go fetch Agnes. Thank you for joining us, Andreas. I almost, oh, I almost forgot. 
You should see the bonfire preparations in the town commons. You missed them on your last visit. Klaus! I'm going! Thank you, Klaus. We'll be going. Take care. Well, at least I didn't have to stick around, but I'm pretty sure if I s said I had medical expertise, I would have stuck around. Cool. This is very spice and wolf like. Oh shit, it's what's his face that I that was always pissy. Everyone seems to be working hard for the bonfire tonight. The commons look festive. Decorated like this. Look at all the flowers, Master. And the bonfire's huge. How's the fire coming? Oh, how's the fire coming? Those logs work out alright for you, Andres? I mean, yeah, all that. On place auto. Good, good. All right. Everyone remember. After bonfire tonight, we celebrate as usual. We, we will all gather in the woods. And the women collect herbs as tradition demands. Otto, the abbot has forbidden harvesting in the forest. Please, for everyone's sake, reconsider your actions. Thank you, Father. But the abbot's orders go against God's law. Forest belongs to all of us, as do its game and fowl and fish. He cannot claim ownership over that which the Lord has gives gave us to hold on in common. No, I'm sorry, Father. We'll proceed as planned. Passing has never let anything get in the way of St. Uh, John's custom, as long as I can remember. We won't start now. And remember, tomorrow... I will show you proof that as sure as the sun turns around the earth, God and our saints are with us. Also, I do appreciate the fact that they included the whole sun turns around the earth thing. Because no, not everyone believed in the earth-centric model. Boslav. Good day, uh... uh Good day, Andreas. Hello, Brother Volslav. You looked upset at Otto's announcement. Is everything all right? Otto is becoming more aggressive in defiance, uh, in defiance to Father Jarnot. I will not take this news. A uh, Father Jarnot, fuck's sake, Father Jarnot will not take this news well. Will not take this news well. Oh, I am, I am, my eyes are getting tired of reading. I'll probably wrap up here soon. How could the ab abbot stop him? Can't exactly chase them all out of the woods himself. Oh, the rabbit. And he, kn he knows the for uh, knows force. is not the only way to get the people to behave. How do you think he came to his position? Hmm, fair point. But why is the abbot so angry about it? Didn't you just hear Father Thomas Andres? The abbot declared the woods off limits. Anyways, it's not for me to say. I'm sure the abbot will tell you more. He sent me with an invitation for you to dine with him tonight. I'm sure the father will want to discuss the situation over supper. Well, I suppose I can attend. Does the invitation extend to Capster as well? I'm sorry, Andreas, but Father the Rabbit has asked you to come to his house alone. Whew. Please tell the Abbot. I'll see him this evening. Well, I guess I'll see what the fuss is all about. I'll meet you back at the Golden Hand after dinner, alright? Can I set up... Can I help set up the festivity decorations while you're with the Abbot? Yes, but be back before sundown, alright? Yes, thank you, Master Maller. I'll see you later. Whoa! That's cool. This bonfire is much simpler than the one in Nuremberg, but it's pretty all the same. All the same. Oh, isn't that, um, Till? Yeah. Oh, everyone's so pretty.
Yeah, best not keep me out of the way. Yeah, see you later. God bless you, Master Mallard. God bless you, Brother Lucas. How have you been? Still working in the kitchen? Yeah, I'm assisting Brother Volslav. I've been making more complex dinners recently for Father Gerno. The rest of the brothers eat simply fair. Simpler fair. But the abbot has a privilege of the food from around the world. That uh, that seems a little unchristian and definitely a little uh, elitist. Tell me about what you've been cooking. Well, Brother Volslav has shown me how to roast quail and baste it with butter. Keep it soft. Oh, if there's quail on my property. No, not my property. On the property that I'm on. I want to try quail eggs. They're small, but apparently good. So roast quail and ba and baste it with butter to keep it soft. And I help Sister Gertrude when she does uh, when she goes to the forest. Sometimes she's been teaching me about herbs. And what are you doing now? Oh, I am. Um, Brother Volslav sent me to collect something for him, but I can't remember what it was. Something over the cellar, perhaps? Probably. There's so much in there, though. Maybe if I bring back a few onions, he'll be happy. We always need more onions. I'll leave it to it, then. Hey, Doc! Hello? Who is this? It's Andreas, Brother Adoc. And Andreas Maller. Oh! Oh, Andreas! The fine young artist from Nuremberg. <clears throat> Not quite so. You flatter me. Your art flattered my writing. Yours and Brother Piero's both. God rest his soul. It is a blessing to work with talents such as yours and Piero's. And Gabriel and Rupert and sister, uh, Mich Mi Michaela, when the nuns helped us with our labors. So many years of toil. They are all gone now. I pray that they all rest with the Lord. Soon I will be gone. Brother Guy and all that will remain of us, our books. But enough of that. How have you been, Andres? God has blessed me with good fortune. Uh, successful in body, if not in spirit. I'm sorry, Andreas. The dreams of youth often do not survive the march of years. But take heart that the Lord is always here for us in our times of sorrow. You seem... You seem more at ease when I was here. Do I? It may be so... But I may have worked in the scriptorum beyond the limits of this body. It pained my joints and strained my brotherly love for Guy. The scriptorum took my sight and the use of my hands. But when it closed, it also took pain from my heart. The abbot is content to let me serve the Lord through prayer and contemplation. So also contents me. I'm sorry, Andreas. I must rest now. It is good to hear your voice at Kirsau again. Bless your soul. Or bless you. Whatever. Before I go, can I ask something about the library? Oh, I'm afraid I may not be of much help. I can barely read anymore. I can describe it to you. It's a book of organs, homilies, written in a fine book hand. And it is signed around the edges. Yes, yes. You know it. You know where it came from and who wrote it? Andreas, forget this book. What? Why? It came from a place of fire in terrible darkness. What does that mean? This cover, these leaves, they bear the marks of a great evil that was done. A soul... I can bear such a soul that can can bear such marks carry them for a lifetime whose soul the person who wrote this book 
There is a presence that watches over this place, Andreas. It was the old, it was the old abbot, wasn't it? It was Father Matthias. This is just like Pillars of the Earth. A present that wishes for things to remain as they are. Sister Margaret told me that before the Baron was murdered, she smelled the devil's presence at Kirso. Is that what you mean? I cannot say anymore, Andreas. I'm sorry. What? Really? You can't tell me? I dare not. For your own good, God protect you. You as well, brother. I'm not going to talk to you. Who do I want to talk to again? Florian. Andreas Mahler. How wonderful to see you. How have you been? Oh, have you been well? Eh, not lately. I'm sorry to hear it. I hope your visit to Curacao can bring some reflection. Or relief. What brings you back here? I wanted to pay my respect to Piero. Ah, of course. I'm sorry, Andreas. I don't, I don't know what accent to do with him. I know a small consolation, but he lived a long life with little pain. He died quite suddenly during Louds. He was well loved by everyone here, even those who might pretend otherwise. I'm sure he appreciates the gesture. As for your visit, I cannot speak with the abbot's authority, but you are always welcome company. Thank you. How have you been keeping yourself busy with these last few years? I've been reading every Italian medical text Klaus Drucker can get his hands on. Really? How many is that? Oh, I haven't counted, but many. The only the only Seno's text on the French disease, which may have been helpful for the Baron all those years ago. I feel like I've heard that before. The Fasci... Uh, I'm not gonna... Medicae... Medi... Medi... Medi Medicine. New printing from Venice. Wonderful woodcuts. Oh! The, the flower of medicine. Uh, from Salerno. Did you know that they've translated it into Hebrew? Occitan. Imagine that. Imagine a peasant in the fields of Provence reading the medical wisdom from Salerno. Imagine a Polish mercenary doing it. Ah! I don't need to imagine it. What a wonderful... What a wonder these books are. Ah, I got carried away. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see you, Andreas. Until later. Until then. You... You motherfucker, you. God bless you, Andreas. I'm glad to see you've received my invitation. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Food. That's a long table. Andreas, thank you for coming to dinner. I thought you didn't want to ever see me at Kearsau again, Father. What changed? Yes, well, well. The Lord calls us to forgiveness. Even then, that might be difficult. He wants something from Andreas. He's been put into a position where he needs to ask my help. I think it's time to... Time we reconcile, Master Mahler. Please sit. We will pray together. Bless us, O Lord, in the... Okay, well. Lord, direct each of us here to, uh, towards your wisdom, prudence, and guidance in our future actions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brother Volslav was indeed prompt in delivering my message. I'm surprised you 
deemed dropped by at all. Look at all this fucking food he has while the peasants are starving. Fuck you, dude. Not great. A power outage took my PC away from me. Oh, Salamander. Like, like actually, like, fucking busted it? Or, like, it's just in repairs right now? You even look the part of the famous artist now. What have you been doing in recent years after leaving such a mess in Tassi? Spent much of my time painting commissions in France. Yes, busy selling out to the aristocracy, I see. Hey, you're part of it. It's sort of. It's better than selling out to the church, Father. Why have you asked me to be here anyways? In truth, I had hoped to discuss the rising tensions between the Abbey and the townspeople. I knew he needed something of me! I'd like to clarify the situation for you, Andreas. Of course, just like you clarified the Piero's guilty all those years ago. This is precisely why I asked you here. I am trying to prevent another terrible such situation. Like that. I believe you've only heard one side of the issue, Andreas. Otto's little speech about the taxes don't account for the entire situation. The fact that you know about those despite not being there tells me you have spies in town. Well, I mean, Father Thomas was there, I suppose, but still. That's some bullshit. Not a great power outage. Uh, oh, sorry. It's Don Enzo. Power supply ex exploded. Exploded? And it was an EVGA 80 plus? What the fuck, man? If you still have that power supply somewhere... Well, first off, I'm sorry to hear that. But second off, you should send that in to um, either like Linus Tech Tips or um, Gamers Nexus. They might want to take a look at that, or like send in a report to them. They're interest. They're always interested in testing out power supplies and stuff, and seeing them fail. Why demand such a high tax, then, Father? Wow, there is so much food. Peasant. Lebkuchen. I don't know what that is. Plum pudding. With the scriptorum closure, the taxes are necessary to make up for their lost income. because you decide to close the scriptorum doesn't mean the townsfolk should suffer. Don't put the fault on me, Andreas. These taxes are a direct consequence of your actions after you are accused F. He managed the scriptorum. Oh, that's true, I guess I am. Would, would you rather the, uh, the... Would you rather the brothers suffer instead, Andreas? Uh, yeah, actually, there's fewer of them and they're Christian. They can take it. The Abbey relies on taxes to survive. The townsfolk knows taxes have risen and fallen in the past, and have shouldered the obligation willingly. Brother Guy has grown, has gone over the expenses himself. Raising taxes is the best way to cover these costs. Hmm. What about prohibiting the, the peasants from using the forest? That's a new restriction. Hey, you know how how else you could reduce the costs? Uh, not fucking be so fucking. Look at all this! All your fucking plates are gold-plated. Gold-plated plates. The forest belongs to the abbey, and the peasants have no right to use it. Legally, it's theft. It doesn't harm the abbey to let the townsfolk pick up sticks. Such theft deprives the abbey of its natural natural resources. Since the abbey does not produce anything itself, it must be able to sustain itself somehow, especially under such financial stress. Have you no pity for anyone in Tassing? I am more upset to hear the town folk have no pity for us. Fuck you! I hear they will continue their disobedience by collecting herbs on St. John's Eve. The whole town knows I've forbidden it. The matter is grave. I will excommunicate anyone who defies my orders. Do 
You will condemn the town over something so petty? That is up to them. Man. Fuck that. This place deserves the burn. Fuck it. Remaining impartial will be impossible as long as you're in town. Support me in ending this foolish rebellion. You have a reputation in town, Andreas. You're a successful man, and the townsfolk believe they are like you. I'd like to convince the other townsfolk, the printer, for example, that this uprising is not in their best interest. The rest of the town will follow, and the peasants will have no chance to resist. We can end this peacefully. Uh, peasants have genuine grievances. Why not talk to them? Negotiate. I am a forgiving man, but Otto's stubbornness has challenged even me. Otto is past the point of talking. Andreas, that's why I am begging you for help in the matter. Please, take more time to think about it. I apologize. We must conclude for now. I must excuse myself. I am expected to lead a service at Compline tonight. See, think on what we have discussed, Andreas. I trust you can find your way out. I will, Father. Good night. I'm going to burn this place down. I'm going to return to the commons. And we're going to start a fucking riot. And it's going to be great.